Welcome back to Generation XG. It's great to have Ruby Faria uh, for his company today on, on our show. Um, let's talk Arsenal. Let's talk the leaders. They've been highly impressive, haven't they, this season so far? Um, and actually, at the weekend against Fulham, probably their best 45 minutes of the season, would you say? Well, yes. Um, I think, you know, it's clear there is, there is a, a good pattern on the team, good organisation. More than organization is everything that a coach wants. That is to have the harmony. That's something that comes naturally with uh, with your organization, and the desire, the focus, you know, the passion, the belief that mm -hmm. that they can do it, and everything together is is coming out this 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 performance. Absolutely, I mean, they've absolutely got the passion and the, and the harmony. But tactically, they've also very well organized as well, aren't they? Tactically, there's there's a real Define shape about Arsenal now. If I stop it there and, yeah. and, and have a look at how they're set up, it's, it's a, pretty much a, a back three building up, yes? Yeah. Back three building up. Now Zinchenko has got Zinchenko into coming in. Zinchenko comes into midfield alongside party. We see that so often now with, with the left back <clears> moving into <throat> midfield. You have two players high and wide. Really wide. Martinelli and Saka. Xhaka and Erdegaard pushed in. And then at the weekend, it was Trossard through the middle playing as a centre forward, but really as a number 10, wasn't it? Look, he's, he's, he's never, he will never be a centre forward. This, a player like him in this position is really to come and do what he's doing here. He's to come and try to play and play in the back of the midfield, getting areas in between lines, trying to link the game to feed or wide or even with the two midfields. Uh, runners, Shaka or, or even Odgaard, you know. So there is a clear intention to overload the middle. It's a clear intention to have the pitch really big, to try to create the maximum space you can yep. for, for, for de develop your offensive, your offensive game. And you know, it's funny the, that because when you identify a pattern in a team, you think, OK, I'm ready to play and I'm, we I can, can stop this. we can stop this. But the pro one thing is what you identify as a pattern, uh, but paradox, it's a paradox, but is is the reality? Is then you need to face them and try to cope with the way they do it. Yeah, and, you know, and, and they, this is a completely different thing. And know? it doesn't have to be the same people in the same holes. It, they rotate it as well, don't yeah. they? And this the, this shows to you what is the work being done. It's important to say that there was a, a, a important stability given to to Michael. Yes, uh, because this is a work that comes from before. It's not just this season. So you build up a squad and a team identified with your style of play. After that. What you say in the different positions, other people is identified. Yeah. Even if you play in the middle, uh, if you are Trussard, you know what you should do in this position. Yes, of or course. Or if you are Martinelli and you are in that position, you know the, the responsibility. Whatever the role is in the team, yeah. and you end up in that position, you have to yeah. do that job. Trussard coming deep, spreading the play out wide, Erdegaard on the ball, wide. fluent yeah. football, high and wide, holding, holding out wide. Holding your position, Always wide. making sure that you're not going too close where you're easily marked. Play it on. The ball eventually gets fed. OK, nothing comes of it. Yeah. But making the pitch big, I think, is really important. And when Intention. you talk about making the pitch big, this is a really good example. Yes. I think this, is, this, is, this actually is, is brilliant, isn't it? When we try and highlight this now, if we... I mean, that's, that's making the pitch big, isn't it, with possession of the ball? So this is a concept, you know, when you define how you want to play offensively, you have, like, main rules so, to your team. So you say, look, one of the first and the most important thing is we need to stretch the opponent, try yep. to stretch the opponent to conquer spaces to play. And, and this is, you need to organise yourself in a way where you create loads of doubts to the opponent because you will stretch the defensive line. Even if you, the ball is in the other side and you are focused on that side, you know that you have someone really open on, on, on the other. So you need always to pay attention with this and it's hard to, to cope with all and, this space. And also work in the space then for somebody... Trossard? In that number, we're talking about him yeah. in a, a centre-forward position, but now he gives the two centre-halves a problem. Do they go in and tight? Do they, one of them go in tight with him? Or do they stay as they are and keep in their position? So that gives you a problem. That you have a problem there. But the situation is you could be also more compact on this. You have a limit, the halfway line. Yeah. But even so, so because so squeeze them. You, you need to try to squeeze. And if you need to jump, there is again good communication. But he's now in a position where 
you maybe one could have jumped, but before not. So he's in doubt if he, someone goes and stays like an empty space in yeah. the middle and a, 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 a 2v2 situation on the sides. So it's a really de hard decision for... It's for, a tough one, for, isn't it, for, for the centre-backs, centre centre exactly. Back. Trossard comes deep, gets on the yeah. ball again. He was really influential, actually, Trossard, yeah. wasn't he? Some of again, the that's why he up. he's in a position of a centre-forward, but he's not really doing a job of... A, of a Once again, Zinchenko in that midfield in position, position again. position, yeah. Again, overloading the, the, the centre. Overloading the centre. Up. With Verdegaard, Xhaka, Trossard, at, Party. Attracting five players in the middle of the Attracting the, the opponent block to come into the centre to then feed the sides. And this one's offside. So they get, away with, it. They get away with it, Fulham. But again, making yeah. the pitch big and passing the ball quickly. So this time, it's, it's different people in different positions. Yeah. So Martinelli is now, if I find Martinelli, he's coming to a centre-forward position. Exactly. Zinchenko's now in that high left position. But then it rotates. Again, wide. He's, he again will come in between lines. So there is a, 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 a clear... A clear definition, isn't Definition of, of, of jobs. And now all of a sudden it's changed again. So th that rotation has meant that Zinchenko now has got himself back into midfield. You've got Trossard coming out wide and you've got Martinelli through the middle. So it, yeah. it's the same positions that they're taking up, but it's just different personnel. Different, different personnel on the job. In the job, yeah. And actually, they don't really start the build-up until Zinchenko's gone into that midfield position now. I mean, they moved the ball so well. Very good. Again, they keep their space. Attracting, attracting opponent to come. But they, but they keep their pitch big, don't they? They keep this, this still, stretch in the pitch. Still a huge it's area. Still that same huge yes. area of, of the pitch that Arsenal are utilising. <laughs> Wonderful build-up play. And can they switch the ball? How many, times, how many passes is this now? And here is, is, is clear what the intention. So you attract your opponent to one of the sides of All the pitch. All down that side. Okay. Once you attract, Zinchenko is inside. Rid also is attracted to go and try to control the position of Zinchenko. And Shaka gets, gets a wider... Yeah. He hasn't moved, has he? For he gets a wider position with, with loads of space to, to, to build. And clearly, attract to one side bring the opponent to that side, explore the, the, the opposite side. Which they and did for, for you to do this, you, you need to do it like they did, that is quickly change the side. If not, it's impossible to get advantage from, from the situation. Yeah. Trossard, who created all Fantastic. three goals. Yeah. Lift to Here the top. is Martin a bit of poor defending also individually. Mm. But, uh, you know, again, an in a clear intention to go to the side. You, said, you said with Arteta that this is a, a, a long-term plan. Is this part of it? The youngest average age starting 11s in the Premier League this season. Arsenal are the second youngest side in yeah, the division. I think it is. And uh, honestly, it's, 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 it's good to see that the time was given and, uh, and that you could, you know, because when you are in the job, you try to fit the best uh, players and try to get the best players to the job and balance does, your squad. Does that worry you, though, at this stage of the season, the fact that they are so young, that the fact is that Man City have done it, they've been there, seen it, Arsenal haven't, or is that a, is that a good thing? That you know, I think it's good, but we, we saw before that people, Comments were saying how long they will keep this run, you know, keep st stable because, you know, one bad result can bring you, mm -hmm. can bring you down. And, but they are being really stable, you know, and they, they are getting... They've dealt the, with the, the pressure results. really well. They've dealt with the pressure. And, and away from home, they've dealt with the pressure well. If we look at the away table, I mean, the, the seven points clear of, of Man City in terms it's, of away points. Exactly. So, so this gives some comfort, but at the same time, the season is arriving to the end. And by experience, I tell you, the feeling of we are close to arrive builds up a lot of pressure. So you yeah. really need to focus on match by match, get the three points out of it, and don't think about anything else. You don't yeah. need to look back because it's just about you. Forget the Man City results and just go forward on, on, your, on your focus. Absolutely. That is to win the next Just got to keep doing what they're doing. Yes. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.